percent think it's illegal. So that just goes into the moral issue again of how uh, students view this topic. These are some of the other statistics we pulled from our data. 97% um, of the students that we surveyed said they do download music from the internet. And of those that um, download music, only 10% of them said they paid for the music they downloaded. Um, reward programs have been in use in the United States for over 100 years by companies who hope to uh, gain customer loyalty and satisfaction. Um, in 1981, American Airlines began using frequent flyer miles, um, which I'm sure you all are aware of. You just get points for flying different places and that. Um, and today, 75% of consumers have at least one loyalty card, while over one-third of the consuming population um, has more than two. And I know that I have four or five myself, and I'm sure you guys have some too. So. Um, why reward programs work? It's a combination of currency, um, which is when a consumer uses both points and cash to make a purchase. Um, this combination of currency inflicts a smaller psychological cost on the consumer because he or she does not feel like they are paying the full price. Um, as you can see in the example on the board, uh, when a consumer is faced with three choices for paying for the same ticket, he or she will probably choose the third option. Um, even though it's not saving them that much money, it, they feel comforted because they know that they aren't paying the, paying the full $500 or the full 25,000 miles. Um, they're paying a combination of the two, and that just makes them feel better about making the purchase. Um, Companies should use reward points rather than cashback programs. Um, as you can see with these two options, the consumer is getting the same amount um, of reward. However, they would prefer the points because he or she knows that if they get cash, um, it will probably be spent um, relatively quickly and probably to pay a bill, which they don't want to do. Um,